Mm, here we go again. So, we've made it to the winter of 1725. Um, just been doing a bit of tidying up. There's um, another region over here somewhere next to Moscow that I've just taken. There was only about a thousand defenders, so I didn't bother recording it. Um, I lost 67 men, I think it was from memory. Oh, there you go, region captured. So it really wasn't worth the effort. So I'm um, moving in on Moscow. I think I'm actually going to do Moscow sooner rather than later. I was thinking about taking the rest. But it's just worth so much money to the Russians that the sooner I take it, the sooner I can cut off any financial chance of them carrying on, really. Just, you know, throttle them, basically. But for the time being this problem here to think about it's not really a problem it's just a sort of strategic tactical dilemma so we'll saw the big old wall a lot of elite troops a lot of elite troops those buggers I had one unit of them and a unit of marines um, destroy a whole regiment of mine in, um, well sorry, two thirds of a regiment of mine in a previous battle. Couldn't get it at all, but there you go. So yeah, um, apart from the colourful uniforms, they're actually really good troops. So these three armies are good quality, so whichever one of my brigades I send in, <laughs> I'm going to end up taking a bit of a slap, basically, so I'm going to try I'm going to try and sneak around the flank of it. My thinking is... Battle. Excellent. Right. If I lay siege to Warsaw, that takes out one of the armies. Yep. So that isolates that army. And that gives me... A bit of a challenge anyway, but... Reduces the amount of fighting units I have to deal with, and if I attack these, that means this big old beast of an army will come on piecemeal. One, two, three cavalry. Where are the rest? Four, five, six, oh Christ, six cavalry. So there'll be a wave of cavalry, and then the infantry will catch up. So, got a few beastie howitzers. Who is this? this? Is old Robin Hutton with his Queen's Brigade? second brigade so yeah if I attack them head on try and pick them off while the cavalry come up hopefully I'll be in some vaguely good position when this chunk of cavalry come up and hit me and I can deal with them before the um, before the quality infantry arrive so that's the plan famous last words and we'll have a go and see what happens yeah that's although they're good quality troops I like those numbers a lot better not that they'll ever come into play, but yep, I like those numbers a lot better. So we've got a couple of these buggers who hurt when they get close. Strange thing. The amount of damage they caused, it was quite odd, but there you go. Um, anyway, without further ado, I'll get set up and as usual, I'll be back. Right, we're ready to go in the uh, Russian, no, where are we, Polish rain. Lovely. So, uh, line up from left to right, I stuck the Northumberlands on the left flank. Um, by my reckoning, the bulk of the Polish reinforcements are going to come in from over here, basically. So, unless they line up and form a nice big neat block there, I would expect the right flank to be the one that comes under the pressure from the cavalry. So I've loaded it a little bit more. Um, this is really going to be a flank the wheels. Um, I'm hoping... <laughs> to push the 14th foot, the Bedford Cheers up through the, the built up area, the buildings and um, form a sort of um, a defensive line along here at an angle uh, push the Northumberlands out to you know, look at turning any flank that I'm presented once I get rid of this first army that will be set up usual stuff, soften up with the artillery um, be in position for when the muskets start rolling, um, got a couple of light foot companies so I'm going to try and get them out and pop some stakes in before the um, and firing like that before the uh, Polish cavalry turn up in force that's the plan and we'll see how we get on Ooh, 
okay. back and regrouping so it looks like they're coming at me head on. In which case I shall push up a little bit further then. coming that way. Stakes out and get in behind the firing line, I think. Stick you in there. Oh, God, it's them. We know all about you, you bugger. I don't think it's going to reach anywhere near that far, but can we have a go? We've got a line of sight there. Oh, I just bloody stuck my troops in dead ground. Oh god, I'm so clever. Where's the fourth? Sixteenth foot. Sorry, boys. Nearly killed you all then. Wasted the sodden state as well. Hmm. Stupid boy. safe to set a single unit of the 14th up. I need a field of fire really, so... Even yeah, though I might do all this fighting around and they end up waiting for me anyway, so... That'd be a bit of a blessing really. <laughs> Make a nice change as well. I'm seriously thinking for the next campaign, I might, um, I might push the battle difficulty down from hardest to just hard or something. But as odd as it sounds, as odd as that might sound, I'm getting a bit tired with always having to defend. <laughs> it's just a bit dull. It can get a bit boring. Where's my cav? Not much of them, but... Right, what have we got? Time to stop. So we can't kill a few of these while they're setting up. These do tend to hurt. Come on. Come on, kill them before they unlimber, for God's sake. Oh, come on. What are we waiting for? 
Good chewing. More of that place. Very good chewing. More of that place. Two of the bloody guns taken out anyway, that's good. Let them in action. Right, what have we got? Who's facing who? Uh, yes. Bayonets. Sixteenth foot fixed bayonets. back to a counter-attack position, I think. It will be needed. Pretty <laughs> <Lovely> terrain. <laughs> Not paying attention, sorry boys. On the square. to miss. Mm. Yep, the assault is definitely developing on the left flank, boys. Oh, your skinny little ass is over there if you'd be so kind.
Yeah, it's all going on. Ooh, I may have a buckle coming in the line here. I've got no bloody reserves either. Buggers over to run, yep. Give them grenades. Just out of nowhere, really should pay attention elsewhere on the board, but let's just see my boys love a few grenades if they get the chance. Don't look like they're going They've done a good job there, broken through. And my guns. I have to say, all credit. Light weight of numbers, if nothing else. Um, okay. Boys. Right, what's the state of play then? So, left flank. Seem to be holding their own just about. The centre on. Stabilised. What's going on here? We've got a desperate cavalry charge from the Warwick Source, which is suicidal basically. That hopefully has finished them off. Ooh, apparently not. Finish those fucking guards off. Oh dear, there's two of the 14th and 16th foot have taken heavy losses. Reform here, I think. Have I got any spare boys on the right flank? Oh, lost a unit of the 49th foot as well. Good fucking scrap. Give me a right kick. Look at these fucking horse grenadiers. I might have to explore them, they're quite leery. Looks like I've um, stabilised the... Stabilise this flank. I'll just get these fuckers in a great big... How exactly are these firing at, I wonder? Fire out, I've almost got him, I think.
course. I've got reinforcements. I've lost units, I've got reinforcements coming on. Good lord. <laughs> I shouldn't really laugh, that doesn't happen very often. Let's fall a quick defensive flank. At least I can ignore that. If nothing else. Shoot them. Hmm. I'm always reluctant to commit my really veteran generals because I've lost so many of them. The ones that I have got, I want to keep on. <laughs> Enough. Kill them. All of them have come on. So that's the last of them. So then there's no enemy over there. Just got this one now. And they've gone right. Have I got any more? God, that was out of a scrap. Enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, I'm going to kill a few of them because otherwise, if I don't, they're only going to need to be killed later. So I'll um, be back with the results. Wow, big losses on that one. Oh no, still not as much as them, nevertheless. Hurty, hurty. But it's achieved the objective, so... And I've still got all the units intact, remarkably. So, um... Yeah. Even though... I lost a lot of men from a veteran brigade, the general's intact, which is always good. And, uh got rid of those two army stacks and the elite troops more importantly so um, I think the next thing to do is to have a go at Warsaw again that's gonna hurt as well but it needs to be done and at least it's the guards so at least in terms of quality they've got a fighting chance so yeah, I think we'll go for Warsaw next, so um, yeah, watch this space.